I understood a maternity home to be a place that would support mothers and babies together. I never had a clue that it, the function wasn't that <laughs> until much later. I thought, oh, a safe haven, I'll go there and, and they can help me find ways to raise my baby. told me that there was a surplus of adoptable infants in 1969. Same maternity home, her parents would come in dark glasses to pick her up to bring her home and she was made to lie down in the back seat so no one would see her and then they snuck her into the house and then they'd sneak her back to the maternity home in the evening. And I can laugh about those things now but it's almost horrifying how naive we were when I look back, how totally naive. It was just the whole part of me was cut off and set aside. And anything connected to it didn't touch me. A lot of that information about attachment and children's grief at the loss of their mothers was known about young children. Nobody told me about that at the time. Nobody said, your son's going to be grief-stricken to lose you. bigger and then we had our birth experience <laughs> we started the labor process in this cold sterile room with green walls 16 and 17 years old alone to reach that call bell and she must have screamed for 45 minutes to an hour it was horrible finally someone came in and told her to be quiet remember just holding on to those rails for dear life and screaming again like my roommate. Nobody came, nobody came, screaming and screaming and screaming.
I see a, adoption in a larger perspective now. It goes way beyond my personal experience, and I think as my knowledge about adoption has increased, my anger has increased, and it's gone way beyond the anger of a mother who's been robbed, exploited of her child. told me that I would have lifelong effects from the loss of my child.